Hockney Printmaker celebrates the work of one of Britain's best known and most well loved artists, David Hockney. In this first room, we concentrate on the etchings he produced as a young student at the Royal College of Art, which he arrived at in 1959. He'd already undertaken printmaking before, producing three early lithographs, but here we see him taking on etching, which are prints made from copper plates, which he did at the etching studio at the college. Even at a distance of 50 years, these wonderful, cheeky, irreverent works fizz with youthful energy and confidence. Of the 30 or so prints he produced during this period, the most well-known is the Rake's Progress series you see behind me, which is the work of art which first announced Hockney's arrival on the London art scene in the early 1960s. His idea was to reprise Hogarth's original, which was published in 1735 in a series of eight plates. When the Royal College heard of the project, they asked David to expand the series, and so he did 16 casting himself in the role of a rake as he visits New York for the first time. In one of the early plates, we see him at the Museum of Modern Art, selling some of his early etchings to William Lieberman, the legendary curator at MoMA. And then we see him enjoying New York life, high life and low life to the full in the 16 plates, finally ending with Bedlam. Hogarth depicted the famous lunatic asylum of Bedlam, whereas Hockney's take on it is to show a line of young men all plugged into transistor radios, which were the new technology at the time, and when David first saw them, he thought they were hearing aids of the sort that his father used to wear. This is a typical witty, irreverent response, showing at the same time his erudition, his knowledge of previous artists, but his ability to take the graphic tale of Hogarth's original and recast it in modern guise.